Hello YouTubers, good evening and here is an update on my channel. The Hoyta Show is no longer on YouTube. Um, if you look at one of the official channels of ZDF, which is the parent company of Hoyta Show, um, they have a nice video where they show you the link to their media tech or their media library where you, well, the only place where you can watch the Hoyta Show now. Um, it's it's fine. Um, you know, I don't think it has 1080p HD, but you know, it you can watch the shows at least for a week or maybe three months. Um, I'm not quite sure. So that means um, the places that I usually get my videos, um, Sun and Moon, or Sun and Mont, in particular, are, are gone. And if you look at the videos here, if we look at Sun and Moon 8's channel, you can see that um, all his videos are down, not only for the Hoyte show, but also for the Anstalt um, and some other videos. And he gives this uh, video where he explains um, some of the arguments that ZDF has given and why he doesn't think they're quite fair. Um, I will go over it in English, of course. Um, well, the first reason that they've given is that when a third-party YouTuber uploads it, then advertiser clicks are giving us money instead of ZDF. In this video, he shows that this is not true, um, and he shows that all his videos are not monetized. They are actually copyrighted to ZDF, and I will show it. I think it's also on my channel as well. Yes, I also have the same thing. It has a copyright claim, and if you just check it out, for example, this one, um, it shows that we can't monetize our videos. The copyrights are given to ZDF or ZDFE Entertainment. So he doesn't agree with that. Number two is that the count of viewers, I think this is maybe for perhaps internal purposes in Germany, his videos often got a million views or more, and perhaps those are viewership numbers that are not given to the official channel in Germany, and perhaps that messes up with their, you know, ratings or funding. The third reason is that um, the Heute Show doesn't own a lot of the third-party news clips, and because it's a, it's a satirical news show, they will often show um, funny clips from other news agencies. And because they don't own the copyright on that, that could be in, that could be a, a copyright issue. Um, all right, um, so that's that. And I don't think I will be uploading more. I don't really want to get in trouble with YouTube. My videos are still up for some reason, but maybe it's because I'm a actually a very small YouTube channel owner. Um, so now we have to figure out where to go from here. So I want to just talk about why I started doing these translation videos in the first place. One, and most importantly, I want to improve my German listening comprehension. It's quite terrible and <laughs> I want to make it better. Uh, secondly, I want to keep up with the German news, which is why I chose the Heute Show. It is a satirical news show. And three, um, I want to watch something funny and interesting. Because my German is quite poor, I often have to watch these videos four or five or six times before I start to understand what's going on. And I have to write it down too. It's a very slow process for me and I don't want to do watch something boring because I would have to watch that boring thing six times. So where to go from here now that the Hoyta show is out? Um, there are a few choices. One, um, I could just subtitle other less popular shows. Um, I could give videos from here, Media Tech HD or Media Library HD, and they have some few shows. They have Anne Will, Marsh Meshberger, Hart Aberfair, um, Maybrit Ilner. So here are the pros of doing those, or subtitling those. Pros, they're not as popular. They're not nearly as popular as the Hoyte Show, so perhaps the ZDF does not care if they're on YouTube. Um, 
Um, the cons is that they are also owned by ZDF, so maybe they do care. <laughs> but these are all very similar shows. They are um, four, five, or six people in a circle, or maybe even 30. Um, let's look at this one. <laughs> and they will discuss a current political issue, and they will um, perhaps yell at each other and argue with each other. Um, I don't know how interesting that is to you. I don't know how interesting that is to me. Um, it's not funny. Um, it doesn't particularly appeal to me. Another option is Tagesschau. Um, this is political news. It's about 15 minutes long. Um, it gives a nice objective overview of the news in Germany. Um, the cons is that it's not funny. <laughs> Which is so that it's hard for me to get myself to view it and subtitle it. The third choice is political party television channels like FPO TV, FPU TV, or CDU TV. Um, pros are they are exciting during elections, but boring most of the other time. Um, here's their official YouTube page. Um, and it's, uh, it's just what's going on in their party. They have interviews with their party chairperson, with their favorite politician, um, Norbert Hofer, um, maybe some political ads here. He's asking for your vote. Um, you know, various people who support their political party. Um, I don't know how interesting I would find that. I did it at once, but it was... <laughs> A little bit boring. <laughs> um, Angela Merkel's party also has a YouTube channel, if you can believe that. Um, and there are also similar videos. Um, you can look at applause for Angela. You can have interviews with her. You can have um, what she thinks, like the best speeches for Angela Merkel various other politicians so you know i that's a that's a thing and ifd also has a channel so well 1000 videos so whoo parliamentary sessions so whoo all right so that are that's for political tv channels and number four is i don't really know maybe or you know maybe you c i could summarize the news in german and people could listen to my poor German <laughs> and I could subtitle myself in English who knows um, so those are what's going on my channel thanks for listening um, uh, alright thanks